joined by Eddie Hearn. Just give us your immediate reaction, because that was really turning into a good fight, wasn't it? Yeah, well, it was. I mean, it wasn't turned into a good fight. It was a cracking fight. Ten rounds, back and forward. Sharat started so well. Laharaja came back into the fight. I thought at the end of the eighth round, Sharat was done. And he came out on his bike for the ninth round. I think that round was so important in the way it was scored. It was going to be 5-4 either way for me. And uh, great fight. I always say could even do it again. But one thing we will do is take Kerman to Bilbao next because that atmosphere tonight was incredible. Allowed just 1,500 people in here, but it felt like about 10,000. And when we go to Bilbao, it'll be really special. Do you think it's likely that it will be Sharat in, in, in a rematch, as you said there? We've got a lot of great 154 fighters in the UK as well who'd be very eager for a shot at Kerman. Yeah, not, not necessarily Sharat, but I think he deserves another shot at the belt, whether that's next or whether that's after. Like you said, you know, we've got so many great fighters at 154 pounds in the UK that could take him on. Um, but he's, you know, he's a tough, tough cookie. Great fighter. And Sharat, I thought, boxed beautifully as well, especially early on in the fight. He'll come again and... Uh, you know, Spanish boxing is on a real high at the moment. You know, big news coming for Sandor Martin as well. And uh, the Haraj is a big star and, and Bilbao will be wild. This was a big stage for Raimi Simlin, wasn't it? At just 21 years, of old, uh, 21 years of age, sorry, here in Spain as well, a hostile environment. Just give us your thoughts on that. Maybe Romero just too big, too strong tonight? Yeah, look, boxing's a cruel game. You know, you can say that it was a big stage, but ultimately, if you're not good enough, you, you, don't, you don't win. And being not good enough can come in so many different ways. It can come in terms of strength, it can come in terms of uh, technical ability, it can come in terms of mental composure, and I think she was short on all of them. You know, let's not beat around the bush. She wasn't good enough. It was a disappointing performance because you can look good in the gym and you can look good on the pads. Romero, yes, experience, yes, strong, but no world beater. You know, and I felt like Amy Timmerman had a real chance to shine tonight, and, and she couldn't. I don't know the reasons why, you know, she's not our fighter, we're not in camp with her, but they've got to ask themselves some questions and say, why? You know, Nat, tonight was her breakout night, and, and I'm sure she can come again, but there's reasons why she didn't perform tonight. I don't know what they are, but she wasn't good enough, and it was a disappointing performance. Kiko Martinez had his man hurt in the fifth round. We'd hear you shouting from ringside, come on, Kiko, let your hands go. He was quite happy, wasn't he, just to see the fight out, but he's made it very, very clear. Self for Barrett rematch, is that likely for this year? Yeah, we've agreed that fight already with both, both camps. We'll see that in December. Um, I think as well that Kiko wanted to get the rounds in, and Duran's extremely durable as well, so it was a good performance from him. Um, some cracking fights on the undercard as well. Um, Cyrus Patterson did great. And that's the kind of fight you need, really, you know, on the road. He was knackered after four rounds. And I said to him, you've got to improve. You can look a million dollars, but you've got to improve your ring fitness. And uh, that was a great fight for him. And Yusuf Kamari as well. Is it, is it likely yeah. we'll see him on the Dillian yeah, White undercard, got, of course? A really good fight, which we'll announce October 30 for Yusuf Kamari. That was a tough fight tonight. Um, a good learning fight as well, but just a great night in Barcelona. Wonderful atmosphere, loads of great fights, and as I said, Spanish boxes on a real high. Now we have to talk about what is coming up two weeks to go today. Anthony Joshua, of course, against Alexander Usyk at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Any words to describe just how big this is? No, like you say, two weeks today. I can't believe it's come around so quick. AJ's ready. You know, this is a huge fight. We've seen it build and build, the anticipation for this fight. You know, the unified heavyweight world champion against the undisputed cruiserweight world champion and, and a, a pound for pound great in Alexander Usyk. I hope when AJ beats him, people give him the credit of being a pound for pound great because he really has ducked no one in this division. And time and time again, he's fighting top 10, top five fighters. And this is going to be one for the ages at Tottenham Stadium on September 25th. It's going to be a great fight, a tough fight but one that Anthony is really excited about because he wants to prove to everyone he's the best heavyweight in the world. How big a banana skin is Alexander Usyk? Not even a banana skin because a banana skin is something that you know, comes around, you're, you're unlucky you know, to, to slip on. You can lose to Usyk like that. He, he can beat anybody. So it wouldn't be a, an upset you know, like, a, like a Ruiz fight um, because it's a very close fight. You only have to look at the betting odds, but I just believe Anthony Joshua is the best heavyweight in the world and I believe he'll prove it on September 25th. Eddie, we cannot wait. Thanks for your time.